Hello everyone, I'm John Riggs, and uh, just to give you a little information about myself, uh, I have my wife Cheryl of 22 years, um, I have a daughter Madeline who's 18, a son Weston who's 16, and a son Justin who's 13, soon to be 14. And um, you know, I uh, have, a, have a, blessed, uh, a blessed opportunity to be the pastor at Texoma Cowboy Church. And um, not only that, but I've been blessed to have been a cowboy for many years, especially of my adult life and do what I really love to do. You know, for a lot of you that are probably watching this, um, you, you've also been involved in the cattle industry and the farming ranching community, involved somehow with that. Um, you know, I, I really was passionate about the cow business and I was really ate up with it, loved it. Man, it was my passion. I kind of ate, drank, and slept um, the cow business. And so um, I, I really enjoyed it, loved to do it. It was my golf game. It really wasn't work. It was just a passion of mine. But there came a point in time in my life that that I really became kind of discontented with it and not for any other reason I believe but that God just began to kind of stir in my heart and uh, called me to maybe do something a little bit different so as I began to pursue that um, you know God began to really draw me in a certain direction which still was going to allow me to use all of those things but yet to use it to serve Him in a different way and um, you know for those of you that are cowboys that are involved in the, in the cowboy culture um, I personally never met a cowboy that really didn't believe that there was a God or a Creator because we're so closely attached to the seasons of life. We get to see God at work every single day of our life. Um, you know, being around cattle and horses and, and um, you know, just watching the whole season of, of the birth and the growing and then the, you know, the weaning and just everything that happens. We, we, we get to see God's handiwork. Um, one of my favorite passages of Scripture, I have several of them, but just in line with what I was talking about is Romans chapter 1 and about verse 15 there. A little bit further down it says this. It says that men are going to be without excuse when it comes to whether or not they believe that there was a God. Because God said that His invisible qualities, His eternal power, and His divine nature can be clearly seen alone by what He's created. And one of the reasons I think we have such a disconnect today between our society and their belief in God is because we have moved in the last several generations away from an aggregate-centered society to an industrialized society. And so what really has happened is you're taking families and children who are raised around all of the things in agriculture. You know, you're depending on things for your very survival. You're getting to watch the God that breaks the sunshine and the the thunder and storms that bring the rain and all the seasons in life and you're getting to see all of his creation at work. But when you take that and you begin to move people to the city and you begin to remove them from that, you know, you can't see much of God in a cinder block paved cement city. And I find it interesting today as I talk to people, especially our younger kids and maybe those in their um, late youth and early 20s and 30s, many of them really don't have much of a concept of where um, their, their milk comes from. They may know it comes from a cow, but they don't really know anything in detail where their food comes from, all the work that's involved in that. They really don't have to rely on rain or sun or the seasons to really get anything they want. They can go to Walmart and grab it. But uh, the truth is, when you separate yourself from that, you begin to get disconnected from the God that made all this. And so, um, you know, one of my passions is also bringing this cowboy and western agriculture life to the rest of the world to help them reconnect um, not only with their roots but also reconnect with the God that created everything that we see and um, you know it's been a great pleasure for me to be involved in doing that um, I hope you enjoyed the article and uh, man, I've enjoyed sharing some things with you about my life um, I'm passionate about the Lord I'm passionate about my family and I'm passionate about telling people about Jesus so it's been good to visit with you Thank you.